On the health alert this evening, fighting fat with the fighting fills. It was a special day at the ballpark for a group of lucky youngsters. Medical reporter Stephanie Saul is here with the details. It Sounds was like fun. It was wicked hot, but hugely fun. I got to tell you, taking aim at the obesity epidemic, teaching kids about being active and healthy, just like their baseball heroes. And what better place than right on the field where the pros play ball every day? Good footwork, good footwork. Agility training and other exercises on the field at Citizens Bank Park for Philadelphia students, along with stretches, plenty of hydration with water, and good old-fashioned hard work. We're just walking out. This is the annual play campaign, which stands for promoting a lifetime of activity for youth. It was really nice. You got to see the field and get to be down there where the players play. And we learned a lot of stuff. Including a session with a nutritionist and a warning about steroids. I travel all over the country speaking to kids about the dangers of performance enhancing drugs. I'm not going to do steroids because like they was telling me it's bad for your heart. Reach hands, reach under. Philly's head athletic trainer Scott Sheridan was putting the kids through the same kind of warm-ups that the players go through before every game. The play campaign is about promoting a lifetime of activity for youth. So our, our take-home message is about trying to stay healthy and to eat better. As athletes, we know we have to eat good food in order to perform our best on the field. Closer Brad Lidge talked to the kids about the importance of eating well. If they make the right decisions with uh, what they put in their bodies, then they can perform a lot better. For the Phillies, Lidge says before every game, the players have a smoothie made from blueberries, banana, and strawberries. Fruits really are going to give you guys the best energy you guys can have before you do your thing. Now, today's public awareness campaign was sponsored by the Professional Baseball Trainers Society and the Tyler Hooten Foundation. You know, Brad Lidge was really terrific, spent a lot of time talking to the kids. You can hear more from him and some of his family recipes, cbs3.com, click on health. He was even telling the kids about his favorite vegetable. Broccoli. No. Brussels sprouts. No. Eggplant. Ooh. Oh, how about him, Brad Lynch? You go, man, right? Well, coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 11, dieting.